How's it going? I just want to get some points across to people out there. You think this is all fucking nonsense and crazy? Maybe. Maybe that's what you think. Maybe you're really sure of it. Maybe you're 25 years old. Maybe you're 20 years old. Maybe you're even 30. You think, ah, eh, age isn't looking for me. Time isn't looking for me. I'll worry about it when it happens. Ah, fuck. There's nothing you can do to live your life. You know, in the Bible, it does clearly state that we used to live 900 to 1,000 years of age. Wow, that's a pretty long lifespan. But you're still dead. You still die. Right? You still fucking die. Something for people to think about. If we're in a machine and the virus or whatever the hell it is got into the machine and started corrupting, just like all viruses, it starts off slowly. You can't just do it all at once. It slowly gets its little tentacles in there and starts rewriting code. It starts redesigning this, moving that. So it makes sense that in the original versions of us, we were tougher, stronger, lived longer. Hell, we might have even been smarter. That's the way we would have designed our avatars. You know? Speaking of that movie, giant tree, AWA, in communication with everything. Ah, the movie was kind of drippy and sappy and there was parts that went on forever. But the overall premise of the movie was pretty good. I enjoyed it. My point is, I'm gonna make it the best way I can. They have evidence, well, scientists have lots of evidence that we are in computer simulation. And that's easy to believe. People can believe that you're in computer, computer sim simulation. It's hard for them to um, conceive the idea of the Earth being flat. There's a problem there. Because when you think about if you're in a computer simulation, why would it have to be round? And you think about Star Trek, the holodeck, stuff like that. You don't need to make a ball, a big round ball for them to run around on and try to make gravity all around that ball and hold them to the ball. Why would they? We just make a grid. And each section of the grid would have a certain amount of pixels in it. And within the 2D reality, they'd have to put in a third dimension, which obviously would be illusional in nature. Right? Where would be the need for a ball? Why the fuck would there be a fucking ball at all? In a matrix, in a 3D, not even real 3D, 2.5, 3D 2.5. Why would there be a fucking ball at all, man? You guys. If you can accept that you're in a matrix, it should be really easy to accept that you're on a flat plane. Because after you swallow that jagged pill of truth, that you're in a holographic 3D reality, after that you should be able to believe fucking anything. But anyways, <clears throat> I'm off track a little bit. You get old. You find somebody, you have kids, most people do. They get old, they supposedly think that they love each other. Pain starts to take place. Pain is inflicted on them through their lives and aging. They try to, you know, disregard it, think that it's not there. But it's just getting worse and worse. The body's getting weaker and more decrepit. The cells are less and less that are reproduced. You're dying. You're fucking dying. You know, I know there's something feeding off of me because my energy levels sometimes are really high and sometimes are really low. And don't tell me it's about what I eat or what I did because I'm pretty healthy. There's an unseen force that is sucking the fucking life out of me. And it's sucking the fucking life out of you and everybody you know. Animals, things, everything that's around you that's living is dying. We are so fucking desensitized to death. We don't even question it anymore. That was our first mistake. After that, it didn't matter which order the mistakes came in. 
the evidence is all around you. People live for today, everything's built on selfishness. And our 666 carbon meat pack. Something to think about. So this is the point that I'm trying to make above all. If we're on a flat plane surface, all compasses are pointing in the same direction. If there's these beautiful lights, like the most spectacular lights in the whole entire world, and there's this beautiful north star, every other star is spinning around it, doesn't it stand to reason? Isn't there any little tickle in your brain that makes you want to check that out? Because I sure the fuck do. And I don't want some hand of authority up in my face about it. I want to know what it is. I think that's my God-given right, don't you? If we're immortal beings and we have divine intent, and our energy is unlimited, but our minds can be erased. That means we're basically rechargeable batteries. I'm tired of being a rechargeable battery. How about you? Bounded by space and time. Time is one of the main operating programs in this matrix. I'm sure you've heard the phrase, time is money. Indicative that time is of some value. The money symbol turned on its side is really the sine wave, which correlates with time once again. It's important we get rid of money and stop keeping track of time. Yes. Saint John the Divine, in his revelation, has made Christ Jesus say, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty, the first and the last. Hindu scripture also makes Krishna the first and the last, the beginning and the end. We read, in the Gita, where Krishna is reported to have said, I myself never was not. Learn that he by whom all things were formed, meaning himself, is incorruptible. I am eternity and non-eternity. I am before all things, and the mighty ruler of the universe. I am the beginning, the middle and the end of all things. Bearing in mind Krishna was worshipped well over 3000 years before Christ Jesus. In another holy book of the Hindus, called the Vishnu Paramahal of Isis, that is as we interpret, as moving with the sun in Taurus. Other deities who ride the bull include, Anu, Krishna, Hadad, and Lord Shiva. Proto-Canaanite, Elap, Ugaritic, Elapu, Phoenician, Elap, <laughs> Aleph, Hebrew, Very Aleph, interesting. Aleph. Avoid making the crucifixion a subject of widespread controversy and for almost seven centuries, Jesus Christ was never depicted on the cross. None of the paintings in the Roman catacombs shows Jesus on the cross and in holy sepulcher, the Savior is represented by the figure of a lamb. At the council called in Trullo, held at Constantinople in 692 AD, Jesus although the lamb continued to be shown usually at the foot of the cross. At first Jesus was represented fully robed, standing calmly before the cross with outstretched arms. Later he was placed on the cross and finally, represented undraped, bleeding, and tortured by pain from wounds, as he is represented on crucifixes today. ...to discern, so it's unclear as to when it was discovered. Early man worshipped heavenly bodies as gods, Myths proclaim we once lived in the presence of gods. These gods were visible powers, often unpredictable and frequently violent. The priestly astronomers of ancient Mesopotamia and elsewhere make clear that these remarkable powers were planets. 
Pictographs show what is commonly considered to be a sun as a huge disk with a smaller one in the center, often with rays flowing out of it, with a third darker circle superimposed in the center of that. Our sun looks nothing like that. In many different cultures, we see a symbol of a crescent with a star in its center. How could this be when there is no star or planet closer to Earth than our moon to form such a configuration? And most importantly, why do so many remote and widespread ancient cultures who most likely could have never been in contact with one another, such as the Sumerians, Egyptians, Chinese, Native American Indians, Mayans, Babylonians, Australian Aboriginals, and many others all tell the same story and draw similar pictures? Mm. 